thought I'd make uh, another another quick one. Those those of you who watch uh, this station with some frequency, those of you who especially saw George Webb and his reporting on uh, on Ukraine before all this, or just all the stuff that's related to uh, the uh, the Pakistani hacker dude who uh, worked for the Democrats, the uh, Awan, Imran Awan, that um, everything is actually going back to him. When people look, so Democrats need to understand the reason why the, the DCCC story died. This guy they hired, Imran Awan, is related to Pakistani ISI and uh, the relationship that we keep with with their like their kind of agents and their intelligence people. Um, this again, Pakistani ISI is one of these groups that the Pentagon trained um, using what, from what I know <coughs> that when looking into the history of the ISI, if you were a good anti-war digger, you would end up finding out that this had, it goes back to the Galen organization. So the former Nazis we hired from Foreign Armies East unit of the SS. And this is, this is the big deal. Like this keeps coming up over and over again. This is why almost every kind of horrible thing the military industrial complex does that you can it the story kind of vanishes you never kind of get like so who did it and how um everybody wants is told this story by their teachers by the newspapers by by the historians that a crazy movement made everybody crazy Nobody really wants to believe that, no, in every society there's people who are authoritarians. That, that down to the lowest level of society, down to homeless people. It's just that if you don't have the ability to be an authoritarian over many people, no, many people wouldn't know. Um, and you're seeing this with something like Gretchen Whitmer. That, you know, she's supposed to be somebody who enforces law. She's being told what you're doing is against the fundamental constitution and that we, we wouldn't even be dealing with this if it weren't for how immensely unpopular what you're doing is. That's an authoritarian is what she is. That, that Her reaction to all of this is authoritarian in nature. It, it's not coming from uh, the idea of, of trusting individuals to take care of their own health or initiate some kind of rational policy. It's not coming from some kind of collective um, will that it, it's just coming from, no, I want to do this, and I have enough people who will go along with me that I could do it for a little while because it's really about doing it to somebody. So um, that, that's very much the way that, that we're seeing sort of the the female end of, of the Democratic Party, it, it seems to be very attractive to such personality types. Um, so now, the thing with Ukraine, this is why none of you, this is why we could count on the feminists always dropping the story. That, we, that the right wing knows that we could always save all the women. And it will always be the heroes in this because none of you really care about women enough to deal with the truly ugly parts of where these stories go. The, the Ukraine is going to get worse and it's going to start involving women. Um, one of the things that's most important about why Trump is kind of so obviously sort of a, 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 pretty, a pretty good president is how much, how many traffickers and people who sell humans for sex are going to jail and getting prosecuted. These like immense numbers. So people might not like Barr, but it looks like Barr's good at catching those people. <coughs> Trump seems to be using everybody he can for what they can do for his agenda. And that he's finally come to the point that there's 
too many people. He's he's gotten into an area that's too sensitive. It's this is this will change everything. This will end the Pentagon. In ending the Pentagon or causing the Pentagon to have to be totally revamped, this is almost every university system in the country. If you went to a major university, it, it said university. <laughs> You probably had a CIA agent on the staff. Um, there's so this this expanded so much after uh, 9/11 that it's it, it it's amazing. And people who stumbled on this are like, I can't believe this person I knew had a top secret clearance or something, or this person worked in drones, or this person was supposedly in the war working, you know, fighting terrorists, and that you're like, this person's super normal, or, you know, they, you know, or they're not, they're like really something else, you know, and you're like, this person's really fascinating, um, and did this fascinating thing, well, well, you need to make that, like, around the area like Virginia, like around Langley on the eastern seaboard, um, there's a lot of these people, <laughs> there's a lot of people like this. And so we've come to this point of the security state that either Democrats, you're going to decide to take this back by taking federal power, for, like you're, that you're going to do something. You're, I mean, you're going to make your choice. But you all should know Ukraine's going to get worse. This was all true. This is, this is really, you will not believe how much worse this gets. And this is what little I have known like there's too much that came out that I'm like this does kind of confirm this end of 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 evidence is pretty solid about what we will see and it gets worse it gets much much worse from here in Ukraine uh, with the Ukraine stuff yeah take care